piece of sashimi down the drain. Bye. McDonald's in Hong Kong looks lit. Taro apple pie, 18 piece chicken McNuggets, waffle fries, so many choices. What's up? Today we are eating at Kitamomo. This place is really convenient because it's right under our apartment complex. And it's really modern in there. They just have different styles of food, like Western mixed with Hong Kong style. And it shows the different times of different countries around the world. So England, Japan, Canada, yay! Spain and Hong Kong. Uh, we both ordered some big pasta dishes, so hopefully it looks good. But I read some. So this is penne with some mushroom sauce. You can see some mushrooms and some ham and then parmesan cheese. Are you ready to get? Mm -hmm. mm. Oh. Dirty. How's your food? Is it up to your standards? It looks a bit small, but other than that, it tastes fine. We just realized something about this restaurant. This guy looks like the Pringles guy. Except you, with the chef hat. Yeah. Once you pop, you can't eat a momo. <laughs> So this is the view from outside our apartment complex. I'm a uh, Simone Bile. Oh, girls don't do this. Only guys do this. Landing. Okay, next up, Billy Chan. Where's the 360 flip? <laughs> Thank you. Now we're up to this. Second routine, balance beam. Uh, you need to do a cartwheel across it. Perfect landing. Sticks the landing. Next up. <laughs> No, high and low bars over there. I can't do <laughs> so he's ready to do a 360 flip off of this. Sticks the landing. Uneven bars. Oh my god, this is stair climbers. Real life stair climbers? It's called jo log, log jam. jam. Walk, Walk up, up and, and down. Strengthen leg and thigh muscles. Beginners two to four times, advances five to six times. Come on, you've been training these past few months. Let's go, let's go. Five to six times, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Keep going, keep going. Come on, that's only one time, you beginner. Let's go. We've been training these for months. Gotta keep going. <laughs> when you get to the top, it's scary. <laughs> this place is sick. I know. Okay, Billy, stair climbers, go.
Wow, what a pro. He was meant to do this. No, it's your third time. Now this is your last one because you're a beginner. Done. How tired are you? Are it's your quads nothing. hurting? No. No? Nothing. Okay. <laughs> you definitely do not want to get yourself cut on this. so easy. I could cut it. My maximum is like here. Do it. I can touch all the way to the top. Do it, try it. Give me your bag. I don't want to touch it. I'll just go above it. If yeah, okay. Don't cut, get cut. Ready? Yeah. Did I go above? I can't. Let me see if I could do it. Yes, you can easily. And I had to go above the green thing. Okay, that's so cheap. That's not fair. You had to stand in one spot. You did do that one again. Okay, you passed that one. That was a green top. <laughs> no. <laughs> so you can see this concrete jungle. Just in this small area, there's already like probably 10,000 people living here. It's insane, right? What do you do? Um, you catch all the Nap and watch YouTube videos. Oh, you put it. Yeah. What's up, guys? This is Billy Visuals. Uh, I haven't really vlogged all day because I'm trying to catch up on my vlogs. Um, but right now, we're heading towards Happy Valley, which is uh, a horse racing club in Hong Kong. And. Um, and uh, and I don't really bet on horse racing. Maybe I will bet tonight, but uh, I just want to see what the culture is like because uh, Hong Kong is actually really popular for their horse racing um, community and uh, how popular this kind of gambling style is. So let's go check it out, guys. People getting ready to get their race bets on. So this is the main entrance to the horse racing. Happy Wednesday. So what do you guys see is uh, the next race is at 8. Uh, it's, 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 it's the odds are on the left, like 1 to 12, those are horse numbers, and the odds for winning is, uh, the lower it is, the higher chance the horse is going to win. So the higher bets are like, like number 1 is 26. If you win, you get 26 times the, the, the amount you bet. <laughs> This is how they name their horses. Would you put a hundred thousand dollars on one of them? <laughs> I would. I'm Mr. Cool. I'm Mr. Cool. Our contribution. Our great joy. Contribution. Contribution. Oh, okay. It's the best horse. Oh, they're bringing the horses. But there are races where they don't. But there's a jockey. There's a jockey. Yeah, there's a jockey. Yeah, there's a jockey. So now we're making ourselves down to racing area. I just put some bets on. And uh... 
I'm gonna see if I'm gonna win. I really don't know how this shit works. I'm just gonna try it to get some dinner money or even entrance fee money. They are coming now. So they're doing, yeah, another meter. Wait, so what do I do now? You go, go to a counter and then claim your money. Which is how much I win. Oh, I put I put six in place too. So that means you get some too. I, I think so. Oh shit. It's pretty good for a first time, right? I know. Shit. Alright, so let's go claim our winning. <laughs> So I just picked up my money, I won just a little bit, but then I actually lost because of the entrance fee. Uh, but yeah, I'm not a huge gambler, so that was a pretty fun experience either way. Much more interesting than winning the lottery because the, I don't know, it's just in your face because more <laughs> lie. <laughs> um, and much faster than betting on sports like NBA or like yeah, you, know, watch you have to watch the whole game. And there's a lot more variables to it. At least I think there's a lot more. Yeah. Anyway, so right now we're heading to dinner uh, and I'll see you there. Genki Sushi. We sort of ate this in Japan in uh, Shibuya, which is. Oh my god, this air conditioning. It's day and night, man. Uh, we ate at Uebe Sushi, which is also owned by Genki. It was a really good, like, budget dinner if you guys ever want to go to uh, Shibuya for dinner. So this is matcha, like we've seen at the tea farm. So you get matcha here and you get sushi there. And the sushi comes from that kitchen with some random magical hand. I wonder what would happen if I put my camera on the belt. Try it. Probably ban me from this place. Okay. Usually what we do. Oh, put on another one? That's all you should. Green seaweed salad. Rice ball. Then we got scallop. You got shrimp sushi. Yo sushi. Soft shell crab. I'm kind of roll. Alright guys, let's dig in. Pieces of sashimi down the drain. Bye. So right now we're lining up for the bus to go home. We just finished eating sushi at Genki Sushi. It was a pretty good meal. I thought that the fish uh, tasted really good, but I'm pretty sure it's because they added um, some kind of flavoring or some kind of um, additional uh, seasoning to the fish. Um, another thing that we saw that was quite interesting or controversial was the food tossing. Um, there was a lot of plates of uh, fish toss. Katrina uh, <clears throat> counted about like 48, 48 dishes. Uh, I mean, that was pretty, uh, in, like my first time I've ever seen that, it's pretty intense. Um, and I definitely caught it on camera, so I'll show you guys here. And um, also, I guess the more intense part was the story that my brother told me how a lot of bakeries in Hong Kong would put rat poisoning onto the food before they throw it out so that scoundrels or scavengers would not be able to pick it up to eat it. And that's pretty disgusting. Just because you can throw the, throw, throw the food away and uh, waste it, they would rather just rat poison the people who would try to eat it. Like that's, like why don't they just give it to them for free? Let them scavenge for it. It's already very embarrassing to scavenge food, but if you're gonna make them rat poison, that's really controversial and just just disturbing in total. So um, definitely a very interesting perspective on food and food waste. Um, and I'm 
I'm definitely glad that people are putting attention into this kind of matters now better than later. Um, so yeah, so this is going to be the end of the night for my vlog. Today wasn't as eventful as usual, but that's good because I'll keep the vlog short and keep most of your time to do your own things, guys. So thanks for watching. This has been Billy Visuals, and I'll see you guys.